Okay, bit of an update. Uh, been playing around with the rear wheel. Uh, hoping to get it sent off to get a uh, both wheels built up. But before I did that, I need to know what the offset I need. Um, so I've got loads of stuff bolted to it. I'm going to go for a different swing arm, but um, I want to establish basically where the sprocket sat. So I've got the sprocket there. As you can see, that's that's aligned to the back sprocket. Uh, I've made some spaces that sit inside the 20 mil uh, inside diameter bearings. So this is a 15 mil shaft from the X7. So I've got that so it sits uh, centrally, and then obviously clamp this quite straight extruded bit to the sprocket. To establish where it sits and i've put the swing arm in and i've tightened everything up and i've tightened these cases up as well uh, so yeah so i've got that i've set the wheel to the sprocket being in line and now i'm seeing what offset i've got it's 72 mil across here so i've put this ruler at 36 mil i also uh, found the center line of the swing arm and i scribed a line on it just there and I've been measuring. I uh, don't know how easy it's to see, but if I go off the 80, so it's about four and a half mil. So it's half mil too far to the uh, right of the bike as you look at it. So I guess options are get the wheel built and have the rim offset four and a half mil further that way, which would then centralise it. I could take the wheel apart. I think this hub will fit in my lathe, so I could put it in the lathe uh, and I could turn it down. I could take four and a half mil off the sprocket, which would then align the wheel where it is and keep the sprocket um, in alignment and bring the whole wheel across. Um, I'm going to have a bit of a think about it. I'm not I'd rather keep it standard, so if I ever need another hub, I can just get a standard hub. I don't have to mess about. Uh, that's about it. Cheers.